Hey people, um, welcome to a very special, uh, I'm trying to adjust this, uh, a very special video, I'm trying to, I'm going to show you how to, how I do my, how I, how I do my stuff, you know, um, so this is Ableton, looks very, um, yeah, uh, looks very complicated, right? Oh, it is. Um, so yeah, this is Ableton. Shit, hold on. Yeah, uh, I bought it for $500. It's a standard version. <laughs> standard $500. <laughs> so, um, the Ableton standard is there's a suite. I was gonna get the suite, but then I was like, oh, it's 800 bucks. I don't really want to do that. So, anyways. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, so, these folders are here, these are, how would you say it, they're, they're separate instruments, or audio files, station, workstations, um, I don't know everything in this, I don't know how to use it, I just don't know what it's called, um, yeah, so one thing will play one thing. So here's something right here. I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, so that's a that's a continuous something. <laughs> oh, yeah, and sometimes I have another clip on there too, but you can't do that with uh, MIDI files. MIDI files is something that um, plays an instrument or a plugin. A plugin is something. Let me explain it real quick. A plugin. This is my plugin. This is the only plugin I have. Come on. Come on. Oh, I just replaced that. Anyways, oh here it is. Yeah, this is my plugin. It's called Massive. I bought it for two hundred dollars, like uh, two years ago. <laughs> great investment. It's a really great um. Uh, what do you call it? Sound engine, I would say. Yeah, it's it's a plugin from Native Instruments. It's called Massive. It's really great if you are making sounds. This sound is. Yeah, I made that. Uh, took a while to get it right. I don't know. I could have just used something else, but I just wanted to make my own sound. It doesn't really sound ordinary, but. Um, it doesn't sound original, but it, it's it works. Um, yeah, audio files. I chopped. Oh yeah, this song is the, the Robin and Kitty. I just posted up a while ago. No, yesterday. And um, yeah, I use Robin. That that girl. I used her uh her video and I, and I. Use the audio from her video. The video itself is like I don't know, 12 minutes long, and I used the parts I liked. So look at here. There's one clip and another clip. These are all chopped up. <clears throat> Imagine. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do real quick. Uh, get it right there. Okay. Imagine this all chopped up. And it's a little bitty, itty bitty pieces. Yeah, all those, these top, from here all the way up. All these are audio files. They're mostly from that clip. You know, if you hear the song, you can hear her voice <coughs> and stuff. Some of them are repeated. Some are, you know, and uh, oh, here, here's a good example of that chopped up stuff here. Yeah, so I had to do all this myself. Um, let's just check one clip. Uh, out of this entire clip, this part right here, this little part, see this part highlighted? That little part's right there. Where, where is it? Shit. Oh, yeah, right there. And, um, how do I explain this? Yeah, never mind. Uh, let's see. Listen to let's listen to the first part of the song. Uh. <laughs> hey, people, stop. 
of the internet world here. <laughs> I'm gonna show you each clip from this part right here. This part where it goes like Alright, now right here's nothing, there's nothing. Okay. Here's her um uh vocal that yeah, voice samples, you know. Alright, here. Hello. Hello. Let's go down a little further. Okay, here's that one that I played earlier. And here's a different one. Here's, uh, oh yeah, I, I love this sound. I made it and I was like, oh shit, I, I gotta use this. Um, yeah, I hear it. So I, I made it right here for massive, you know. And uh, it took, took a while to do this, but I, I really loved how it turned out and yeah, I just love that sound. I'm gonna EQ it. Oh, EQ. That's like um, making a sound how you want it to sound. Limiter, or like compressors, you know, just so it doesn't go past the sound bar, so it's not too loud and nothing clips. Reverb. Yeah, reverb. Let's see. Uh, reverb. How I explain? Oh yeah. It's so imagine the the song like a box. Reverb puts it. Oh, there's a right, left, there's a front and the back. Reverb would put it somewhere between the front and the back, you know. In the middle, you, you, this spot, this knob right here, controls how far you put it into the back, you know. Well, I put it in 23%, so it sounds like... Yeah. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I don't know, something this morning. Here's the drums. My... I made this stuff, so through the years and I finally, you know, I've been producing for two and a half years and I used to use stuff from sample packs but now I make my own stuff <laughs> try to be, you know, unique so here's, this is how um, this sounds for this song that's my kick that's my kick and here's my snare if we go over here um, I'll show you my kick and my uh, drum kick all right um oh here's my my hi hats and stuff so overall on the master you know oh, if you look over here see how I do this um uh, um huh, what did I do? What did I do? Never mind. Ah, it's gone. Let's bring it back. Right there. Uh, excuse me. Um if you look right here. Good mix. This is a really good mix. So I'm gonna play real fast. Ah. Uh, so I want that slope. We saw that. We saw the slope right there. Yeah, the highs are higher, mids kind of go down. The high. Oh, I mean the lows right here, the mids right here, and the highs. So it goes like a slope. Your lows are highest, mids and lows, highs. You know, it, that's that's a really good mix. That's what we call a mix. In order for me to get there, you know, I had to. Do all this tedious stuff to everything, EQ and stuff. Take the wait up, about to run out of seconds. Hold up. Oh, and we are back. Oh, I gotta adjust this again. Mm, right there. Okay. <clears throat> I was talking about um, mix. Oh yeah. So, huh? How do I say this? Well, everything, all this has to be EQ just right so that you know 
I had that slope. Everything has to be uh, just EQ'd, right? So look at, um, that wasn't EQ'd. I did that in there. Okay, right here. EQ'd and I EQ'd. I use the EQ and I use multi dynamics. They're basically the same thing. They do different stuff though. Well, it does make sense. Okay, well, EQ is just EQ is the whole thing. Multi dynamics. Okay, so you would have um. Let me bring up a bring up a spectrum right here. Um. Well, listen. Let's listen to this. I had the slope right there. So the the highs are pretty high. Let me let me take this off. Let me take these two off. That thing clipped really, really bad up there, so I'm going to take these again. Alright, so. Before it was up to, uh, um, so my numbers right now, it's at 24. If I took these off, it would go, um, yeah. Wrong one. Clipped a little higher than 24. And that's bad for the whole entire the the the, the mix. Uh, so let me see what else what else can I show you? Oh yeah, Robin's vocal. <laughs> so I did a lot of effects to this. Okay, let's see. I used a compressor EQ again I took a lot of the uh, a lot of the um, the uh, the highest highs off right here you can see because it kind of clipped too much so I need to use a reverb and do that 29% <clears throat> I do a mid quality size put in the middle the decay time decay time is like you know like an echo kind of echo but it's not really echo it's a it drags on the sound itself let, 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 let's hear that. And then if I turn the the decay up, you hear that background noise. That's one. That one. That's without it. And then, ah, this is with it. Yeah, that 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 sound. Shape. Um, pre-delay, uh, reflect, that's like reflect, like, like I said, like how the sounds in a box. If I put this reflect up, it would re reflect off the walls of the box. So, density, um, limiter, you'll see this thing right here. Um, I'm saying, it keeps it at a certain level in, in, in the sound and the, in, in the, let, let, let me just, See what it, show you what I mean. Look at this part right here. It only peaked up to right here. Right here. So that 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 was good for the over overall. Eh. Um, I don't want to be too too high, you know. It's it's still not clipping and it's still loud. That's what I was aiming for. Um, what's this? Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. So my piano. I use the um the ground piano equal bright solo, and I did all this stuff to it. You know, same thing. Um. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I want to show you the compressor, the sidechain compression. It's called sidechain compression. So, <clears throat> idea of this is you put this in there, and I linked it to my drum right here. This one, this one right here. And <clears throat> so, what happens is when this one plays, when this the sound bar goes up. It cancels out part of this com according to this right here, this little button. So if you watch right here, when the when the kick and the drum hit, <clears throat> um, it cancels out that part right there. Here's attack and release. 
So it canceled out just for that split second, that really small split second. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, right here. And if I turned it off, it would sound. Turn back on. This is used so that the overall. So, like, the drums. They'll be, um, for the split second, the drum will be in there by itself. And it won't allow the entire song to clip. What clip is, is um, going louder. Just for a split second, it could be loud and kind of hurt your ears, you know. So that, I, I use a lot. So that the overall mix is pretty good. Hmm. Oh yeah, this sound, man. this sounds pretty cool, I mean. Yeah, this one was pretty simple. Um, I didn't really do much to it. It's a pretty, pretty simple uh, sound. Oh, so all this stuff that's down here, if you're wondering, this is called, what is it called? Yeah. Side view, info view. Oh. Yeah, well, anyway, I don't know what it's called, but. Here on this side are my effects. <clears throat> They're called audio effects. So here we have auto filter, auto pan, beat, repeat, chorus, compressors, dynamic tube, EQs, erosion. Flanger gates, more compressions, grain delay, limiters, loopers, multiband dynamics, and redux reverb. Yeah, you get the idea. All this stuff is used to. Uh, how would you say it? Make your <coughs> make your song sound professional. You know, I don't have all the um. The expensive uh, audio effects that producers nowadays use, but you know, I'm pretty sure that you know this stuff's just as good as those. Those are just pretty fancy stuff, and they can do a little more stuff for the for the song. But you know, it works out just fine with what I have. Five hundred bucks is worth it. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, here, here, I took this off of a. Uh, the sub, <clears throat> it, it, it's a quick sub, like a, I took that off of a, um, you know that sound when a guitar gets plugged in, I took that off of that and I EQ'd it, I made it my own, let me show you how it sounded, yeah, it goes this way, yeah, you hear that, and I, made it my own. There's a good sample. Yeah. Mm. See, so yeah, I... This is the Robin named Kitty. I, um, started on this, um, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, and I finished it, and I really liked how it turned out. Um, I did all this stuff to it, and now, you know, if you listen to it, you know, you heard sounds pretty, pretty, pretty great. So, um, if you guys have any, um, you know, huh? questions on how I do what I do because I know I didn't explain everything um uh, just go ahead and ask me you know I'll have I'll be happy to explain I hope this has been very informal I right, look at my studio real quick these are my KRKs they're studio monitors they're pretty you know you probably see uh, if you ever watch the DJs are um, producers. Um, 
YouTube channels, you'll see, you'll see some of these in there. That's my microphone. <clears throat> I record my vocals on it. I bought it for 80 bucks um, at Bookman's. This is my MIDI controller. Um, I don't use this much. I use to make my my stuff. I usually use um. I use my keyboard. Oh, yeah, my keyboard is also my piano. Uh, um, um, oh yeah, my Beat Studios. They're they're really great. People often um bash on Beats because uh, you just buy a name. No, it's really actually good. Um, it's a good um, uh, earphones. It, it brings out everything, and you can I really get a good mix out of it. Yes, my snacks, my phone. Yeah, I don't know what else to to, to show you. Huh. Well, goodbye. Bye.